Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, now let's talk about another very important and very interesting topic that is steps involved in the viral infection. How viral infect a host cell and how it get entered into the host cell, how it will replicate and make new copies. There are basically four steps. Uh, attachment, penetration, replication and uh, assembly. So first of all, uh, let's talk about the attachment. In the previous lecture, I have explained, I have uh, I have told that all the viruses will be having some specific glycoproteins. If they are enveloped viruses, these glycoproteins may be present on the uh, on their envelope. If they are uh, naked viruses, obviously they will not be having envelope. So these specific proteins will be present on the capsid. These are the specific proteins that will help the virus for attachment on the host cell. And these uh, proteins make the virus very specific. This is the reason because of these protein viruses are also called as short range uh, host because they are they are having very specific host. For example, uh, it's not like that uh, if AIDS virus get entered into our body, it will start infecting all the cells. If hepatitis uh, virus get into uh, enter into our body, it will, it will start infecting all the cells. No, hepatitis virus will infect only uh, liver cells. Uh, uh, hepatocytes. Similarly, AIDS virus will infect only uh, T helper cells. Similarly, coronavirus will infect, on, uh, infect only uh, cells present in the respiratory tract, pneumocytes, liver, uh, lung cells. Why uh, this is so? So, because these receptors, these glycoproteins, they can attach their specific receptors present on the host cell. For example, uh, AIDS will be having specific CCK receptors. CCK receptor that are present on the T helper cells. These uh, receptors are basically for the, uh, the cytokines, but AIDS virus will use these receptors for the attachment and for the penetration. Similarly, uh, coronavirus will use AS2 receptor present on the lungs. So it means because of these proteins present on the envelope or present on the uh, uh, capsid, they make virus very specific in term of uh, uh, host cell attachment okay now once they will attach on their host cell with the help of the receptor present on the host cell and with the help of these protein either they are present on the uh, envelope or the capsid they will attach they will get attached now the po second point is penetration and penetration basically depend vary from type to type to type for example in case of bacteriophage uh, bacteriophage who are the basically viruses of bacteria Bacteriophage, assume that this is a bacterial cell, this is a bacteriophage. What bacteriophage do? It does not enter into uh, the cell. It, it will just penetrate, it will just enter its DNA, its genome into the cell, leaving the capsid outside of the cell. Okay, but in case of uh, uh, animal cells, what happened when an uh, enveloped or uh, naked virus will attach over uh, the host cell with the help of uh, uh, its glycoprotein, there will be a uh, endocytosis. There will be a endocytosis in this way. Endocytosis will take place and whole capsid along with the genome, it will get entered into the uh, host cell and this structure will be called as endosome. Endosome. Similarly, uh, enveloped virus, they will also fuse with the cell membrane and uh, they will get entered into the cell. Now this endosome will fuse with the lysosome and you know endosomal and lysosomal enzymes will degrade these capsid proteins. These protein, they will degrade these protein and they will release the genome into the cytoplasm. Now genome can be DNA, it can be RNA depending on the types. I have explained in the pre previous video that there are lots of uh, viruses who are having uh, double-stranded DNA, some virus have single-stranded DNA, some virus have double-stranded RNA, some have single-stranded RNA. So depending upon the type of virus who is entering into the host cell, they will release the genome. For example, uh, they will release their DNA or if they are RNA virus, they will release their RNA into the cytoplasm. Now the process of replication will start. Replication will also depend upon the type of virus. For example, if it's a DNA virus and it has released their DNA, into the cytoplasm. Now most of the DNA, there are few exceptions as well, but most of the DNA, DNA viruses, uh, they will enter their DNA into the nucleus of the uh, cell. 
and into the nucleus they will uh, make copies of these dna and they will start replicating they will start replicating and from the dna uh, early gene and late gene uh, transcription will take place what is early gene and what is late gene i will explain when i will discuss uh, one by one all types of uh, viruses okay now what will happen uh, virus will attack it will get and enter into the cytoplasm it will release its genome if it is a dna virus dna will get enter into the nucleus here the replication of the virus replication of dna will take place uh, multiple copies of dna will be formed and then the transcription of uh, those uh, uh, genes on the dna will take place and different rna will be formed now what will happen this rna will come out of the nuclear pore and it will attach on the ribosome present in the cytoplasm when the translation will uh, process of translation will take place and different uh, protein will be formed different protein will be formed now what similarly if this is the this was the rna virus rna will not enter into the nucleus it will simply if it is a positive rna positive rna i have explained in the previous class positive rna are those rna that can directly attach on the ribosome of the host cell and they can start the process of uh, translation while the negative rna for example assume this is a negative rna it cannot directly attach on the ribosome first it need to convert into messenger rna or positive rna for example this is 3 prime to 5 prime rna so with the help of rna dependent rna polymerase uh, 5 prime to 3 prime a complementary strand will be formed and this complementary strand will be a positive strand now this strand will be able to attach uh, on the ribosome and the process uh, of translation will start and the protein will be formed the enzyme which was uh, needed to make a uh, uh, negative strand to positive strand was the dna sorry rna dependent rna polymerase so if a negative uh, this is a negative rna virus obviously it will be having this enzyme as well along with it when virus will come and enter into the host cell it will be having this enzyme with it as well so that it can convert its negative strand rna into positive strand rna and then this positive strand rna will attach on the uh, host cell ribosome and it will make uh, different proteins all the proteins that are required for the uh, structure of uh, uh, virus now what will happen either it is a rna virus or if it is a dna virus when the proteins all the required proteins will be formed now there will be there is a process of assembly now these proteins will assembled and a complete viral will be formed now this uh, viron will uh, go out of the cell and it will start infecting nearby cells so this is uh, the process by which uh, uh, a viral infection take place okay these are the four steps attachment uh, penetration then replication depending upon either it is dna or rna and then assembly and then it will go out and infect the nearby cell uh, these are the four simple step, uh, steps i hope you like my video in the next video we will talk about the uh, all types of viruses one by one and their replication in detail how the double stranded dna virus replicate how single stranded dna virus replicate uh, how uh, single stranded double stranded rna viruses replicate all their process will be uh, discussed stay with me thank you so much